Hey, this is Jen Walker, Certified Optavia Coach, and I'm excited to share with you today some thoughts on what we call NEAT, Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. Like, how can we create more movement into our days? Now, I kind of got to back up and share with you a little bit about NEAT. So, a long time ago, I used to really identify myself as someone who would go to the gym all the time. And the association I had was that I would work off any of the sugar that I would eat at the gym. Like that was my total mentality. And I didn't understand, you know, can I bring health to my body and nutrition to my body? Could I work out in the kitchen harder than I can work out at the gym, be able to save myself time and have a healthier mindset about it? So those are some things that have really changed for me. And I want you guys to like think about your experience with exercise. What, where is it? What is it for you and why? And how do you, how do you feel inside? Like, is it a punishment for what you've eaten? Or is it something that you do for your body that you love, that you enjoy, that you've made fun? Um, there's so many things. I love pickleball. Oh my gosh, so fun. What is it for you? And I also love going on walks. So I'm going to go into the life book and share with you the six um, S's of success. And I'll kind of go over those really quickly and I want you to identify which ones you are doing, which ones you would like to start implementing. So stance, that's using good posture. And I think there's a lot more said that a lot of people maybe don't have good enough posture. I try. <laughs> um, standing, anytime that you can stand instead of sitting, can you do like, what exercises can you do by just increasing the ability to stand on your feet? The next one would be strolling, walking. I'm a walker, I love walking. Like that is my thing. I love going in the hills in Virginia or here even in Bountiful and walking on those hills. They are so fun to have peace in my mindset and also do personal development in um, listening to cool podcasts like Habits of Health webinars. Um, the next one is stairs. Uh, in the winter time, I always do stairs at my house and that has been so fun for me to be able to get more steps in that way. Uh, Dr. A talks about at a convention I went to, it was very impactful to me because I thought, what an application. He says, take the stairs in life. Don't always take the easy way. Like do the work that it takes to get to your goals and not just the quick fix and work that mindset is a huge part of that as well. Okay, the next one is Samba, so that means dancing. How is the dancing in your life? Could it be more fun? There are a lot of things on YouTube that you can do to have fun with that one. And just playing the music, like be like a kid. Kids dance, like crank it up, right? And then the next one was switch. Anything that you can do that is um, automated, like turning the TV channel on the TV, instead of using a remote, get up and go switch it on the TV. So that's one of them. Using a manual can opener, I still have one of those. I got that. Instead of using an electric, like what can you unmechanicalize for yourself to help you get more energy into your body? So those are a couple of the six. And then I want you to also just think about micro habits. Dr. A talks about this. And micro habits are so important. How can you start a micro habit of exercise, whether it's doing 20 jumping jacks before you get in the shower or um, placing your shoes by your bed and the, they are ready and that's your micro habit, then it, that trigger can really help you get started in that micro habit that you can form these habits of exercise into your life and enjoy it. Have a beautiful day, thanks.